Dopamine is a simple organic chemical in the catecholamine family. It is a monoamine neurotransmitter which plays a number of important physiological roles in the bodies of animals. In addition to being a catecholamine and a monoamine, dopamine may be classified as a substituted phenylethylamine. Its name is derived from its chemical structure, which consists of an amine group, NH2, linked to a catechol structure called dihydroxyphenylethylamine, the decarboxylated form of dihydroxyphenylalanine. In the brain, dopamine functions as a neurotransmitter. Dopamine is produced in several areas of the brain, including the substantia nigra and the ventral tegmental areas. Dopamine has many functions in the brain, including important roles in behavior and cognition, voluntary movement, motivation, punishment, and reward, inhibition of prolactin production, which is involved in lactation and sexual gratification. It also plays a role in sleep, mood, attention, working memory, and learning. Dopaminergic neurons, or neurons whose primary neurotransmitter is dopamine, are present chiefly in the ventral tegmental area, or VTA, of the midbrain, the substantia nigra pars compacta, and the arcuate nucleus of the hypothalamus. These neurons form a neurotransmitter system and project axons to large areas in the brain, which are typically divided into four major pathways. The mesocortical pathway connects the VTA to the frontal lobe of the prefrontal cortex. This pathway is essential to the normal cognitive function of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and is thought to be involved in motivation and emotional response. The mesolimbic pathway carries dopamine from the VTA to the nucleus accumbens via the amygdala and hippocampus. This pathway is believed to be central to the brain's reward system. However, this theory is not yet universally accepted. The negro striatal pathways runs from the substantia nigra to the neostriatum. This pathway is particularly involved in the production of movement as part of a system called the basal ganglia motor loop. And the tubero and fundibular pathway runs from the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland. Dopamine released at the pituitary gland regulates the secretion of prolactin, which has many functions throughout the body. The gap where an electrical signal jumps from one neuron to another is called the synaptic cleft. After dopamine is made, it is stored in synaptic vesicles and waits for an action potential to arrive in the nerve terminal that will release it into the synaptic cleft. Each vesicle is filled with several thousand molecules of dopamine, as well as other soluble constituents. Upon the arrival of an action potential, a change in membrane protein conformation allows the influx of calcium ions, which is a key part of the stimulus responsible for the fusion of vesicles with the neuronal membrane. By the process of exocytosis, vesicles discharge their soluble contents into the synapse. The extent of dopamine release appears to be dependent on the rate and pattern of neuronal firing, and particularly interesting is the increased dopamine release in response to burst firing. Calcium is central to all aspects of exocytosis, including rapid fusion and unloading of the vesicles as well as recruitment and translocation of loaded vesicles. Calcium influx occurs through voltage-gated calcium channels and leads to fusion of the synaptic vesicles with the plasma membrane and re release of their content to the extracellular space. This is a much faster process than the relatively slow release of peptide or protein hormones from endocrine cells. After release, dopamine interacts with one of five dopaminergic receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. There is also a reuptake process that pumps excess dopamine back into the presynaptic neuron. Dopamine acts on receptors that are specific for it. Five subtypes of mammalian dopamine receptors are grouped into two classes. The D1-like receptor class is comprised of D1 and D5 receptor subtypes. The D1-like receptors are found throughout the brain and in the blood and smooth muscle. Dopamine D1-like receptors are coupled to stimulatory G proteins and they have a stimulatory effect on neurotransmission when bound by an agonist. An agonist is a chemical that binds to a receptor of a cell and triggers a response by that cell. Regions of the brain with a high density of D1-like receptors tend to have a low density of D2-like receptors, whereas regions of the brain with a low D1-like receptor density have a high density of D2-like receptors. The D2-like receptor class is comprised of 
D2, D3, and D4 receptor subtypes. The D2-like receptors are found throughout the brain, in smooth muscle, and presynaptic nerve terminals. Coupled to inhibitory G proteins, dopamine D2-like receptors have an inhibitory effect on neurotransmission when bound by an agonist. Many neuroleptic drugs, which reduce the intensity of nerve function, are antagonists of the D2 receptors. These receptors have similar signaling properties. They, however, have different signal transduction pathways that determine their subtypes and classes. All of the dopamine receptors are G-protein coupled receptors whose signaling is primarily mediated by interaction with and activation of GTP binding proteins. Although they influence separate mechanisms, cocaine and amphetamines both inhibit the reuptake of dopamine. Cocaine is a dopamine transporter and norepinephrine transporter blocker that competitively inhibits dopamine reuptake by binding to the active site of the transporter. This leads to an increased lifetime of dopamine and augments an overabundance of dopamine up to 150% within the parameters of the dopamine neurotransmitters. Like cocaine, amphetamines increase the concentration of dopamine in the synaptic gap, but by a different mechanism. Amphetamines and methamphetamine are similar in structure to dopamine and so can enter the terminal of the presynaptic neuron via its dopamine transporters as well as by diffusing through the neural membrane directly. By entering the presynaptic neuron, amphetamines force dopamine molecules out of their storage vesicles and expel them into the synaptic gap by making the dopamine transporters work in reverse. Yahtzee! Pa! No, dude!